Why Elon Musk cut Starlink to the Ukrainians and blinded their drones? Why he deserted and left Zelensky? The owner of SpaceX, Twitter, and Tesla supported Ukraine with the Internet satellite system. However, he eventually reduced the support despite receiving a lot of criticism in the West. Elon Musk decided to stop the use of the Starlink network by the Ukrainians in order to prevent the escalation of the conflict. The, other, the owner of SpaceX, Twitter, and Tesla supported Ukraine with the Internet satellite system. And uh, this caused uh, receiving a lot of criticism in the West. Starlink is Ukraine's communication backbone, especially on the front line, where almost all other Internet connectivity has been destroyed. But we will not allow the conflict to escalate into World War III, Musk wrote on Twitter. Earlier, SpaceX announced that it had restricted Ukraine's access to Starlink satellite communications for drone control, as the network was never intended to be weaponized. But why did he weaponize Starlink in the first place? That's the question. Musk likely believed he would boost his and SpaceX's image and reputation by providing services to Ukraine, notes geopolitical analyst Ahmed Adel. In the West, it undoubtedly did. However, once Musk realized that the Ukrainian military was using his technology to increase its combat capabilities, it was inevitable that he would be cut off from Kiev as it would negatively affect the company's long-term business prospects, particularly as it sought to expand into non-Western countries and markets. And this brought an avalanche of criticism. Now the head of Twitter is facing an avalanche of criticism from restricting for restricting the use of Starlink in Ukraine, but from the point of view of his commercial interests, it has it is a pragmatic decision. In fact, it was former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly's tweets that prompted Elon Musk to once again comment on the use of Starlink in Ukraine. Scott Kelly, on February 11, called on Elon Musk to restore the, starlight, the Starlink system to its full functionality. Defense against the genocidal invasion is not an attack, it's survival, tweeted Kelly whose twin brother, Mark Kelly, is a Democratic U.S. Senator from Arizona. A day later, Musk tweeted that Starlink is Ukraine's communication backbone before saying SpaceX will not allow conflict to escalate into World War III. We have not exercised our right to disable them, Musk stressed in a separate tweet. Starlink is not a weapon. The Twitter exchange came after SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell said the company was really happy to be able to provide connectivity to Ukraine and help them in their fight for freedom, but added that Starlink was never intended as a weapon. The Ukrainians used it in ways that were unintended and not part of any agreement, so we have to work on that in Starlink, Shotwell said. Speaking at a space conference in Washington on February 8, Shotwell stressed that using Starlink as a communication system for the military is fine, but it was never our intention to suggest they use it for offensive purposes. Placed in reports about Ukraine using Starlink on drones, I'm not going to go into details. There are things we can do to limit their ability to do that. There are things we can do and have done, he said. The image of SpaceX. Musk got involved in the Ukrainian standoff in the belief that it would boost SpaceX's image but then cold economic factors forced him into a humiliating partial withdrawal from Ukraine. Musk first responded to Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov's call for help in early 2022 by sending 20,000 SpaceX Starlink terminals to the country. And due to Russia's effectiveness in hitting Ukraine's telecommunications infrastructure with missile attacks, the country has relied on SpaceX technology for uninterrupted and secure internet access. More than 100 cruise missiles attacked energy and communications infrastructure, but with Starlink, we quickly restored connectivity in critical areas. Starlink continues to be an essential part of critical infrastructure, Fedorov wrote on October 12. Despite endless praise, Musk expressed reservations January 31st about the Ukrainian military using Starlink to fly drones carrying anti-tank grenades over uh, from uh, uh, Russian positions. 
He emphasized that he will not allow the practice to continue. Basic Starlink has become the backbone of Ukraine's connectivity to the front line. However, we do not allow Starlink to be used for long-range drone attacks. Mikhail Podolyak, a senior advisor to Ukrainian President Zelensky, tried to pressure Musk on Starlink in his usual arrogant Kiev fashion, issuing an ultimatum, quote, either he's on our side of Ukraine or the right and the right to freedom, or he's on the side of Russia and its right to kill and occupy territories, end quote. Starlink and Ms. Stolwell will have to choose a specific option, he said. And now Musk is everywhere. However, Musk has clarified his position, tweeting, on September 16, Starlink is for peaceful use only. This also aligns with Starlink's terms of service, which states, Starlink is not designed or intended for use with or in offensive or defensive weapons or other comparable end uses. In other words, it's not going to uh, allow people to use it in something like space wars. Now, recall that in October, Musk sparked controversy in the Western world when he tweeted his proposal for peace, which included territorial concessions to Russia and Ukraine to be neutral. He said, rerun the elections of the annexed areas under UN supervision. Russia is leaving if that is the will of the people. Musk said, Crimea, formerly part of Russia, as it had been since 1783, until Khrushchev's mistake, water supply ensured in Crimea, Ukraine remains neutral. That is very likely to be the end result in the end, just a question of how many will die before then. It's also worth noting that a possible, albeit unlikely, outcome of this conflict is nuclear war, God forbid. And here we first see Musk trying to undo the mistake he made by involving his company in this, deciding to get unnecessarily involved in a major geopolitical and military issue. He is now criticized and condemned by the entire Western world for curtailing support to Ukraine and has created distrust for any future clients from the non-Western world. This is by Banking News and I've translated for, the, for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.